Hi guys, Matt again from Every Cloud Technologies. We're looking at the spam reports for the customer or for the end users. Uh, so we've logged into the control panel, as you know. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just show you what the spam report looks like and what features the customer has uh, or the ability the customer has from the, uh, the actual body of the spam report. You can see here in this spam report we have the option or the user, the end user has the option to either deliver an email or deliver and whitelist an email. Now these emails here were stopped as info mail so it tells us that it was info mail. This is spam guys, there's newsletters, uh, info mail and uh, such. So in terms of the uh, the on-site admin, he's not going to be bombarded with calls from the users because the user has the power to be able to release whitelist uh, emails directly from the body of a configured spam report. Now these spam reports, as I've mentioned before, are all highly configurable and we can do that from the control panel. Under the management tab, we simply click on uh, the uh, your name at the top left hand side. We've got the template button and uh, what we need to do if we wanted to edit one of the templates so hit the add button select the template that we want and the language in this instance we want the spam report all we would simply need to do is cut and paste this HTML here paste that into an HTML editor you can then configure the spam report to whatever format you want so if you want to change the color scheme the layout the look of the spam report then you can do all of that quite easily if you just want to have the standard st uh, spam report that we've seen no problem at all you can continue using that if you want but if you want to change it no problem at all what you may want to do is configure the spam report timings now these are the timings of the spam report actually arriving to the end user and we can simply do that by just clicking on the spam report tab in the control panel uh, under the spam report tab in the control panel spam report Spam reports activated, activated, and we can see here that the uh, days of the week we can deactivate over the weekend, or if we wanted to, we could simply have that report delivered hourly to the end user. Now, if there's no spam, no spam report is generated. But you can also see here that we have given the option to uh, for the user, the end user, to deliver and whitelist info mail but only to deliver spam messages and this is to stop any accidental whitelisting of a spam sender. We can in the, we can allow the user to deliver virus messages, messages that have been stopped based on virus filtering uh, and also content but this would be only advisable for an on-site admin. We can allow users to log into the control panel. Every single user has access to the control panel to see their own logs and to be able to administer their own black and white list. Um, but also we have the ability for an on-site admin to be sent an accumulative report. So if you didn't want the individuals receiving spam reports, an accumulative report can be sent. If you've edited the spam report template, then you simply need to select the spam report template that you've edited and then you can... Uh, hit the save button and that will now be saved and that spam report template used. Okay guys, if you need any help, uh, you can come and talk to us on live chat from our website everycloudtech.com uh, or give us a call 0844 887 00.